Hello, my viewers. Once again, with our topic called as our state Karnataka in physical divisions. As I said in my last period, that today we are going to move. In my in the next period, we are going to move with the physical division. So today I am here with the physical division of Karnataka. So Karnataka, on the base of its uh, features, its relief features, Karnataka is been divided into three physical divisions. The first physical division is called as a coastal plain. The second one is called as a Malnad area. The third one is called as a Maidan area. To make it clear about the coastal plain, Malnad area, Maidan area. So here in our map, we can easily can we can get to know that. Now this is a first one layer called as a coastal plain, which moves from the way see here, Uttarakhand to up to the near to the Chamrajnagar. This is a coastal plain. The second layer it is a Malnad area where we will see some of the high mountains which are called as a Western Ghats, Shayadris, and another side. If you move towards the way towards the third layer called as a Maidan, so from Bida to up to the Kolar, we see the Maidan is been divided into two parts: Northern Maidan as well as the Southern Maidan. So let us enter into this part and let us know one one division of the one one division of the state called as a Karnataka. So the first division is coastal plain. Here in this coastal plain, okay, in this coastal plain, let us today understand related to the about totally about the first physical division called as a coastal plain. The coastal plain which lies between the Arabian Sea and Malnad region. This is the Arabian Sea. We can you can easily watch it, and this is a Malnad area, okay, which is a second layer, Malnad area, hmm? and what he says the coastal line it is 320 kilometers from the Mangalore in the south to Karwar in the north. So this is a, in the south Mangalore to up to the Karwar in the north. It is how much 320 kilometers it is been there. Okay, width if you look over width it is 12 to 64 kilometer in the width it is. Okay, and when we look over this here downside in the toward the southern side it's a broad as it moves upside upside right it comes converts into the form of north so here towards the downside it's a wide it is and as it moves upside it automatic rounds into the narrow it converts okay in this coastal plain three major districts one is dakshin Kannada, okay udupi as well as the uttar this is dakshin Kannada, udupi as well as the uttar Kannada. we will see so these are the three districts moreover if we talk about the ports of the Karnataka, we are having some of the important major ports. New Mangalore port, Batkal, Malpe, Karwar, Kumta, Bellekeri, as well as the Honnavar. So here in the map also, you can easily observe to make you to more understand with this red mark, I have mentioned it. So here the points which I mentioned, it doesn't mean that they are outside. Okay, there, right? So just to make you to easily to understand, Okay, so first one is Karwar, then next is Kumta, Bellekeri, Hannavar, Batkal, Malpe, as well as the Mangalore. These all are what? These are the important ports. Now, as the area is touched to the water body, so definitely what we will see, some of the beaches also. So very good beaches we are having in the state called as Karnataka, called as Panambur Beach, Ullal Beach, Someshwar, Mudeshwar, as well as the Om Beach, lies towards the weight in this coastal area. Then the people who live here, they follow fishing as their main occupation and agriculture as their second occupation. So these are all things which helps us to know about the vision, about the first physical division of the state called as Karnataka, called as the coastal plain. Okay, dear viewers who all are watching this videos, by just observing, by just observing the points which are been written on the board easily you can also make the notes of it okay and lastly don't forget to like as well as subscribe and in my next session i will come with the two more physical divisions called as the malnad region as well as the maidan region and there let us study about those all things so once again i thank all my viewers thank you